Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris Dom One, and I'm back with another video. Before we begin today's topic, today's video, I first like to state this for the record: uh, Sterling Brown. He's a professional basketball player in the NBA. He plays for the Milwaukee Bucks. Was involved in an incident a couple of nights ago, and the most he should have gotten out of that incident was a parking violation. An uh, from that incident a ticket maybe a thousand dollar fine and he's off on his merry way just like any other average citizen out there and it really doesn't matter if this citizen is rich or poor black or white it really doesn't matter what status they're from uh that's what a typical average citizen should have received uh, but sterling brown gotten so much more and it was all for the wrong reasons. Now, also, there are a lot of men and women out there who work in law enforcement that are doing great and good things for their community. And uh, there are a lot of uh, of those members who protect and serve the citizens of whatever state or county or town um, you know, they're in, they're currently in. And just like anything else in life, you have a few bad, rotten apples. And these bad, rotten apples went to the extreme. Stuff went left with Mr. Sterling Brown for all the wrong reasons. And he didn't deserve none of this treatment. And Mr. Sterling Brown uh, behaved himself like an adult. He didn't raise his voice. He didn't yell. He didn't scream. He didn't violate anyone's space. Uh, he was very compliant. Uh, and if you watch the video carefully, the officer got into Mr. Sterling Brown's face and then told Mr. Sterling Brown to get out of his face because, quote, I own this. Uh, he owns this situation. He owns this property. He owns the narrative. He has a camera. He can twist things to his advantage. And he should uh, be mindful of that. And Mr. Sterling Brown behaved himself like an average typical citizen should, a taxpaying citizen. And he uh, in turn asked questions to the officer. And the officer denied assets, denied even well, denied Mr. Sterling Brown the opportunity to give him answers for his questions. All right. And this officer turned a simple traffic, a simple, not even a traffic parking violation. And he turned it like DEFCON 5. Like this was a terrorist uh, activity going on where he calls in multiple police cars. And at one point in the video, you have five police cars present in, on a parking violation. Parking in a handicap, uh, uh, parking, uh, parking your car illegally in a handicap parking space deserve this much, uh, deserve this much attention and deserve multiple officers to come to the scene. It was quite embarrassing. Not only they uh, wrestled Mr. Sterling Brown to the ground, which by the way, he didn't even do anything uh, for, that, for them to even throw him, I mean, uh, push him to the ground. But then once they got him apprehended and on the ground, they proceed to tase him. You already have the man on the ground. He's not fighting back. He's willing to, uh, for you allow him to arrest him. And once you arrest him, once you, uh, once you have the advantage to yourself, you tase this man. Okay. And this just totally disrespect this man's, uh, uh, rights. As a tax-paying citizen. This happened in January. They released this footage a couple of days ago. And at the press conference, 
the spokesman just read off a paragraph how deeply sad and and disappointed the uh uh the, on the act the actions of these officers which by the way uh they didn't even go into detail what's going to happen to these officers um uh, they got demoted uh some of them are 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 suspended some of them are on leave but really what should have transpired and took place with these officers they should be put in jail if this was a thug a gang a group of individuals attacking a citizen that group would be uh will be charged for assault going to court and also going to prison but none of this is going to happen or transpire to these uh to these officers because milwaukee the Milwaukee, can, uh, you know, when you talk about Milwaukee in general, you can just Google it yourself. And this dates back into the 60s on how they treat African-American citizens there. And there are numerous cases and numerous stories that can uh, that can show you without a shadow of a doubt how they feel about African-Americans. It's very hard as an African-American uh to simply just be treated as a citizen and there are stories like this you know but that's neither here nor there these officers should be charged for assault they this was a crime uh, and these officers should be going to jail and that's the shame the shameful thing about it uh, the spokesperson didn't even ask uh, when uh, didn't stay long enough to even ask uh, to answer questions from the media. But if the roles were reversed and the the spokesperson was talking about how this uh, gang of individuals attack a citizen, he would have been there for the, for the next hour and a half going into detail uh, about what's going to transpire from these actions. This guy did an exit stage left and just left the scene. Now, Mr. Sterling Brown is going to uh, prosecute these officers. He's also going to prosecute the city. Uh, I mean, a civil suit to the city. And he wants this community better. Right. But there's going to be a lot of people out there. They're going to try to sort of twist, change the narrative uh, change this into a political thing when all this should be and what the focus should be on is people uh, dirty I wouldn't want to call them dirty officers or dirty cops they're thugs and we should focus on that on how we're going to treat this type of action and treat this type of behavior that's what should transpire uh, from this incident and apologies aren't enough for mr sterling brown it's just not enough but guys tell me what you think out there rate comment subscribe it's your boy i'm chris the dom one and i am out